Hey guys, so it's my birthday today and yesterday, so if you can tell behind me, right here, the, the wall is fixed. So I had a handyman that my realtor recommended. So apparently this guy like lives in her neighborhood. Um, and I finally reached out to him because I'm like, this is it. Like I just need to list this place and just see what happens. So I need to get like the, I just, we need to make it presentable to like photograph. So he came, he fixed the door, look at the door. Now my now I'm like not gonna kill myself every night and it's nice and smooth. And so he took all that off, he patched the holes, he painted it. Of course the paint, now there's a can of paint that it looked like the, the wall paint. It was a custom color, it was like the matte finish. And I went and got a gallon from Home Depot yesterday morning and it was like 20 bucks, so it was nice and cheap, whatever. I thought, okay, let's go. And I know I shouldn't have trusted what the girl that I bought the switch from told me because that was not the wall color. It's slightly whiter and you can tell, like she didn't go close to the edges, but it's a different color. So, but I think it's passable and you really can't notice in certain lighting. And then he repainted the entire living room with that same gallon. So you really can't tell in here because all the walls are that color now. And it's just slightly lighter, but he like patched up holes. He also cleaned the window in my bedroom. And of course that old tape created all this like crystallized dust and it literally was coating my desk, my lap, like I, I breathed it all in. I think I'm like gonna die of lung cancer now. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's all right. That's great. It, it's done. That's it. That's I just need to be like passable. It's better than it was and that's what matters. So now I, I just worked out. Um, I did yoga this morning, took a, an extra nap then had breakfast, then did cardio, and now I'm making coffee, and then I'm going to answer some emails, answer some texts. Um, literally, the thing I hate the most is when people text me before like 11 o'clock. Like, please don't, just don't. I'm not gonna answer at like eight o'clock in the morning. Do not. So, um, yeah, I have to get back to people too before I leave, and I'm gonna go and hang out at the beach for a little bit, and then I'll probably run some errands on the way home, so I'll have to do some tomorrow, and then hopefully I just have like a nice chill night. Who knows? But yeah, just take, I'll take you guys along and we'll see how the day goes. Okay, so I just put some sunscreen on and I, I shouldn't like straighten my hair this much. Like I noticed, so my hair was like, you know, not this bad. Like I could go through three years without getting it cut. But now that I'm straightening it a lot more and it's just, I think the sun dries it out too. Like it is so dry and I need to get my hair cut. So I think that should be like my birthday gift to myself. I don't know. Um, but I put some, I put 30 on my face and now I've been putting 15 on my body. I don't know. And I also can tell that my skin is a lot worse than it used to be. My skin used to be flawless. Now it's like, you could just tell. And obviously it's the sun. Um, and I'm wearing makeup a lot more. So I'm going to straighten my hair a little bit just because like if I take pictures of myself today, I'll just be happier with it straight. And this is the new bathing suit that I got from H&M. Um, super high cut. Well, you can't really see it right now, but, <laughs> um, I need to like work on the tan lines. So, oh, so I went jet skiing with a friend on Sunday for the first time, which was honestly pretty horrifying. Um, I wore this, but I had like a life vest on and we went up like the intercoastal from like Pompano to Fort Lauderdale. And apparently it was a little rough, um, the water. So it was like there were waves and only at one point was there like a boat coming the other direction and created this massive wave and like my head like hit my skull like i don't know i i was convinced i had a concussion i i didn't say anything though <laughs> but I, I think i'm fine um but i mean it was fun it was interesting and we saw like all the you'll see on my instagram um the million dollar homes and stuff all on that like intercoastal and there was one house and there was a guy like maintaining the pool and we asked him because it was for rent and he was like, and we were like, well, how much is it for rent? And he's like, $100,000 a month to rent it. Like at that point, you might as well just buy it. <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm gonna go to the beach for a little bit. And hopefully, it's been so weird, the rainy, like the weather literally changes every single hour. Like no joke, you can't like really solidly plan anything. Like for the most part, it's gonna be fine. And the rain, if anything, will just come shortly, like on Sunday. Um, I was finishing working out and it was like nine o'clock, 9.30. And it was like so dark and cloudy by my house. And I was like, I bet they're not even going. And they were like, no, it's totally sunny down here. So I get on 95 and it's like, oh my gosh, you see this? So I did get sunburn on my scalp and now the skin is peeling out because I have dandruff. 
Oh man, all right, well, <laughs> I guess, see, I, I've always had that problem, like when I was younger, um, when I have my hair down because the part is exposed. If I have my hair up though, like this hair like covers my scalp because there's no part. My hair is just so thin. So I definitely need to wear a hat today. Um, that's so gross. But it's just skin. It's just the dry skin from the summer. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it was like raining right when I got onto the highlight. And then right as I got to Boca, it was like totally sunny. And it ended up being a beautiful day. So I'm so glad I went. And if I hadn't gone, like I usually like Sunday to relax and whatever, I would have been so mad at myself and just like think it and just like depressed and whatever. So I'm really glad I went and I just like was able to take my mind off things. So that's why I'm just like, you know what, let's just say yes to everything right now and whatever. Like next Sunday, so the one coming up, I think I'm going to the beach with someone. The battery died. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't charge it since my last film. And I haven't filmed like a vlog in a few weeks. Um, and what was I saying? So I'm saying yes to everything. Um, may go to the beach on Sunday. So that's going to be another Sunday of like not just sleeping all day. Um, I do want to do a new recipe though this week and I think I'm going to make like a virgin mojito since my virgin pina colada is so popular. Um, let's see what else. On Thursday I have my like, I'm going to be teaching, coaching an entire class at Orange Theory for the first time. Um, the head coach will be there and like he'll save me and if I feel uncomfortable the part like he'll just take over. But you know it went well when I, I co coached with him on last, last Thursday. And it went well, like we switched off some blocks and it, it's so much fun with the mic. And you honestly can't practice until you're like actually doing it with people. It just, it, you can't, cause I need that there's a stopwatch. It just, as long as you know the general gist of the timing when the people are on the treadmills and like changing speeds and all that. And then you just know the movements that they'll do on like the floor. Cause the rowing doesn't really change much. It's just certain intensities. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's fun. It's so upbeat and like you can't, you gotta pay attention. So I have to make sure I sleep. <laughs> I did not sleep last night. I, I don't even know. Like I tried to sleep at like 10. I mean, there was so much dust and I, again, that tape, whatever, the poison chemicals I breathe in. Um, like my, I was, I didn't have time to like wash my sheets and pillowcase too. So, I mean, I was dying. I could barely breathe last night. The allergies from, I, I think it was the dust because we moved every piece of furniture and all this stuff has not been moved since I moved in last year, last summer from the movers so i was just you know i couldn't breathe and whatever that's why i didn't sleep but it's fine i mean i feel fine right now i just drank coffee even though it doesn't really wake me up but it's fine so i still have to get back to people but i just you know what i don't know why i feel like i need to rush right now like it's my birthday let me just have a day i was gonna you know maybe try to make plans with someone or whatever but like i'd rather spend the day by myself actually um I do because I know I can do everything I want to do at the time I want to do so that's why I'm like don't rush like it's fine we can just relax and you know chill so that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna film it and whatever I'll probably I'm definitely not I don't know I like I really want to take the camera with me but I may just take my phone and film on there honestly that that footage does come out pretty decent um because I know it manages the lighting much better than the camera so um yeah so now that i did that i do need to take a hair tie with me though because i know i'll have to put up my hair but oh okay now that i just killed my hair it's so bad i just oh my god because my hair is not straight it's like it's straight but it's not really straight you know i wish i had like straight hair where it's just always straight but put on some more deodorant i'm like sweating after i drink hot coffee because i just like worked out and then i'm drinking boiling hot coffee and it's already hot like it's just and i always do that before i go to the beach too um yeah so i'm gonna take some selfies in this new bathing suit um maybe i can kind of show you so it's like like this it's extremely you see the tan line yeah so um but they finally had the, this is a zero in the bottom. I mean, I wish the bottom was smaller again. Like it's just, it's just slightly too big. Um, and the top is a two actually, and it's fine because you can tie it. But I got it from H&M and I just love the color and I love the little gold details like on the tassels. I think it's so cute. So yeah, um, I will see you guys at the beach.
because I I'm I'm taking some advice from uh, the audience, but I need to have more women on the podcast. Oh, okay. It's very male. Hey guys, so I totally just stopped like recording. Um, so when I before I went to the beach, I forgot I had to get gas, so that like deleted everything. Um, but I fill up, and then I went down. It was pretty decent. Like it was. It was a good, good temperature. Like it felt really hot when I was walking, but then like when you're on there, there was like a nice breeze, and then it got pretty overcast. But that was okay because it didn't rain and it was like fine. The water was pretty rough though, but it was good and just relaxing. And then I stopped at a few grocery stores, so I didn't have to go to them today. So to go to the close ones today, and then I'm waiting for an exterminator company to come and give me a second opinion on something, and I will let you know how that goes. Um, and I'm gonna get in touch with my real estate agent today and tell her how everything went on Monday. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I came home, I was kind of chilled out. I talked to my mom on the phone that night. Um, yeah, I didn't really do much. I just kind of relaxed and it was fine. Like I did what I wanted to do and just had a day for me. So it was very good. Um, I slept pretty well too last night. Um, after I've been like staying up late now, like Monday night, I stayed up until like, I don't know, like 10 o'clock, which is like crazy. Um, I didn't feel too tired yesterday though, so um, I'm gonna practice my orange theory because I have to teach the full class tomorrow, so I'm a little, little stressed. Um, and then I'm hopefully gonna actually get like work done. Like I just feel like the last two weeks I have not been like productive in terms of like getting work done. So like anything from like blog to studying to just all that stuff feels like very rushed and everything is very minimal right now. And I just I know that's a phase, and you know because I was doing fine like a few weeks prior to that so I just I just but it's stressing me out so I want to get something good work done I know I have a virgin mojito recipe that I want to do and I'm hoping to do it maybe on Friday like I want to do it this week and not on the weekend um yeah so I will I'm gonna just finish up some stuff on the computer maybe get my email done for Friday and then make breakfast and then run to the store before the people are supposed to come around like 12 to 2 so I hate when they give you time frame. I'm like please come like at the later end of that um initially they said like 11 to 1 I'm like yo I, I, I just please come at 1 um so they'll text you like before they're gonna get here but yeah so it's a free estimate and that's why it's like okay just I usually use my normal company that I use but I want a second opinion so yeah um yeah I will check in with you guys later and maybe I might just extend this vlog until like the rest of the week and, like today Thursday, because then I want to update you on what happens tomorrow, and then Friday. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so he didn't make me do the entire thing. I did, he started off with the first block, and then I kind of took over, and then he did the first treadmill block, and then I took over for that. So I basically did all of them, except for two blocks. Um, I could have done the entire thing, honestly, because that's what I practiced for. I was so stressed, but it was totally fine. So Tuesday, I'm gonna teach completely from start to finish on my own. Um, but yeah, it, it's always so fun. Like the moment you put the mic on, it's just it, the you get less nervous. And I am just so like on point with the time. Like I got that stopwatch in my hand. I also have my sheet. Like I have the workout like in a printed out sheet and I just keep that with me and then I make my own little notes on like when the times should change and like when it should be on the stopwatch and sometimes I like lose track of like where I am and I'm like oh god because he'll like say something to me in my ear and I'm like oh, I don't, oh my god and then I like forget but then I always end up being on time so it's fine um and the 12 o'clock class is usually pretty like it's smaller than most and we have like one group it just everyone was on like either the tread side or the four side so like you know it's a little bit easier um, but yeah, so Tuesday I'm gonna do an entire one from start to finish on my own. Unless, of course, I feel uncomfortable, but I should be okay. Um, tomorrow will be Friday. I'm gonna, I hope to God I can shoot um, the rest of I wanna do. I'll take you through that. And then maybe um, start to like pack them, pack some things up and like move things around for the photographer for the house is coming on. Monday, uh, apparently two now. They said one, now it's to me too, to just shoot and we're gonna list this place on Wednesday. That's it. So, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing this weekend. I'm just at, literally, I'm taking it like hour by hour right now. It's just one thing at a time, one day at a time, one hour by a time. I'm just, I don't even know what's going on. So, yeah, 
I will check back in with you guys probably tomorrow and just kind of wrap this vlog up. And yeah, so see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.